What's up guys? This is the Rifle Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And to pick up where we left off last time, uh, well we are invading everywhere. We've got this foothold in Amsterdam we need to try and try and uh, protect. We've got this foothold in Zagreb that's going to be a bit of a spicy one to protect. And we've also got this foothold in India which we also have to protect. So the order of the day is going to be recruit troops everywhere. That's going to be the name of the game. I'm pretty sure London and Amsterdam combined can support this front. Um, uh, the Balkans might be a bit trickier. We might have to rely, we might have to build some more troops up in um, Portugal to sail along and protect that. Um, but yeah, let's hit N10. Let things tick on. I'm getting some weird. Okay, right, hold on. Maybe. Yeah, I'm getting some uh, weird effects. Okay, right. I am getting sailing sound effects this time. Right, okay. Cool. Previously it was all just silent. Yeah, Austria is responding to our invasion. And we need to follow that up with... Yeah, just more of everything. Every kind of... <laughs> all of our production centres need to be producing armies at top speed. While also balancing our um, economic investment. Oh, we're being attacked by a fleet they've grown themselves. Uh, Auto resolve that, because that's not going to. We're not going to fight that ourselves. Then where are you going to sail? You're going to try and break our blockade. Let's see how many men our, our lone 438 sinks. Lost, sunk three of them. Yeah, we need to. I think those those armies in uh, that were on the Spanish border need to be a bit more offensive as well and try and cause more of a problem. Uh, you demand Corsica. No, you're not going to get it. Prussia, I'm sorry. Naples and Sicily. They got a pretty good navy, but we're not ever so worried about them. The Marathas, yep, yeah, they're coming in. Any more? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes they are. Yes they are coming in. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to deal with them. And it looks like... Oh no, there is still some movement. Um, but yeah, we are going to still... We need to send in the US Navy to attack and destroy the Maratha uh, navy and then we can blockade their coast and just prevent them from becoming a problem. But I think I might chop the recording and bring you guys back when the, the Ottomans decide to play ball. So see you in a second everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, Russia wants to swap some technologies and no, because they're allied with the Austrians. If they were at war with the Austrians, that would be a different kettle of fish. Because trying to develop their economy to try and support the tax against Austria might actually be worthwhile. Uh, however, it appears not to be a good idea. Especially because I'm probably on the verge of getting power loom anyway. The AI seems to be uh, remarkably capable of understanding your tech development and offers you technologies typically one turn before you are about to research them to maximize their benefit and to minimize your gain so there aren't many technologies in this game that are worth that are so significant getting them one turn earlier is a massive benefit except for maybe fire by rank early game that's really big protestant missionary in bengal excellent let's get him back to calcutta Okay, let's just start. Bet get Calcutta churning out with regular infantry. Fleet destroyed. Fleet destroyed. Port blockaded at Calcutta. No, it is not. Okay, let's probably take this militia unit out to garrison the port. Bring you uh, just to attack. 
Got a carronade frigate. Probably raid booty as well. Our nation rules the sea. Yeah, bring it into our service just because we can then use this carronade frigate to to raid at limited cost to us. So you get back to Colombo. Upgrade here. Maybe get Calicut. Game to Mangalore. Yeah, Spain's helping out as well. Okay, so we're on 130,000. We can eat that up quite quickly. So this trade fleet's waiting for orders. Grow the fleet. Okay. Sir. Stuff being recruited. Make ready. Yes, sir. March. Make ready. Sir. Grow. Yes, sir. Forward. Yes, sir. March. Okay, you're a little you're gonna be a little bit out. You're going over there. You're, you're, okay, yeah, you're, you're all going to take a bit of time to get completely ready. Orders. So you're here to take this trade spot. You're going to go back to America. You're going to have to just pick a place to protect. Same over here. Excellent. Sir. Sir. Okay, you're recruiting to bolster that army. If you got one more unit being recruited, you need a fusiliers. Good. Let's mass. Mass is order of the day. At the ready. Got reinforcements from Ireland. So that's one unit of infantry on the way in. Space for three more. They're all recruited. Excellent. Ian Brent. Any further orders? Let's keep up the recruitment. Something like that. Good. Let's keep Scotland just mass recruiting infantry. So you're still recruiting. Actually, I might just leave you, move you out, put you in. Calcutta's mass recruiting infantry. Probably want to march out and attack Mr. Sastry just to damage them to prevent just so this army is then quite badly depleted before these get brought to bear. We don't want to get too swamped. We're still a bit vulnerable. We need to be aware of that. We're going to be recruiting like mad things. And then while we're doing that, we need to keep making sure we're upgrading our economy. Because <laughs> these, all these troops need to get paid. Some bugged units have got some real bugged units in this action. She might even put you in the, in the line. Although that line does want to be a little further back because you've got all these trees. Yeah, 
something like that. I want to put my long rifles up here. Possible my long rifles and my light infantry. No, sadly not. They can be on the right. You guys are on the flank. Need units. Hold back in reserve. Cavalry deploy wide. My regulars and my light infantry on the flank. Back them up with some native bows. Now it's a deploy back here. Other gun team deploy on the slightly higher ground. Oh, you can't name on with the trap with there. Quick line anyway. Fill the gap between these two. Both my light infantry units on the flank place stakes Polygar. Now you can place fire shrapnel shot at the Bajir Lancers. Good kills. Skirmishes back. Excellent. Shrapnel shot those Pandari horsemen. Go on, skirmishes behind the cover of those arrows. They will be reluctant to pursue the charge. Trapnel's tearing those Pandari horsemen up. Form square, because they do seem determined. You men blast the horsemen. Howitzers engage the infantry mercenaries, because they won't they won't prosecute the they won't complete the charge excellent So what are you guys going to do back here now? Okay, the enemy cavalry is actually coming back. So let's run you guys through the line. Because you're being pursued. Killed the enemy general. Run, run, run! Excellent! Okay, let's knock out the remainder of these forces here.
and get the regiment of horse out. Now she can see if a cavalry barrage can take them out. Or cavalry charge rather, not a cavalry barrage. Excellent. Skirmishers advance. Infantry advance. Artillery round shots. Howitzers limber up. You may knock out a unit of Hindu warriors. Come on, up there, pound them. Fire, yep. It's the end of them. Get okay, ungroup them. Let's just speed up time while we kill these fellows. Excellent, and then we advance. Speed up time as we slowly creep towards the last enemy positions. We're gonna run into point blank range. So they're gonna get some good shots off of this. The brave American troops are advancing right up into their faces. They've abandoned their field fortification. Engage them as they flee. Push up skirmishers, get up on the flank, force them to abandon their position. Something like that. Cease fire the artillery. It appears that the shells will be landing dangerously close to our infantry. So you're the armed peasantry, and you can just see Marines. Regiment of foot, Hessian line. They've killed some men of the 11th. Here they're reor reorganizing. That will be their downfall. shaking all right seems as skirmishes start opening fire on them as well yeah that's the end of them too back you go awesome uh, but yeah we it's very easy to get um, mobs so I think it's really really care really really important that we just do what damage we can Sally, do damage, withdraw, and repeat. Uh, here, let's upgrade you to a church school as well. Do you know we've already got one? We could do with a second to generate a second 
religious agent to try and stir up trouble. Okay, so at Lisbon, let's start. Start recruiting here. Something like that. Gibraltar to start stockpiling infantry. Tunis start. Oh, the trouble is with Tunis is African native infantry is just not that good. Um, you are not going to advance. You are going to hold and support Granville Stapleton. He is the the heavy hitter in this this army here, and is the one at most risk. Um, although I suppose you can't look a gift horse in the mouth. More infantry is better. Here at Amsterdam, everything is ongoing. Let's make sure everyone's replenishing. Because everyone is. Yeah, they are showing up. Sir, your orders. Okay, again, I'll probably want to combine these African light infantry, these African native infantry units, just because yeah, they are not as good as regular colonial infantry. It's going to take them a few turns to get here because they are coming from Gibraltar. So let's stack those infantry up first. Tangier. Again, it's another colonial army. So it looks like we're not going to necessarily get the, the rebelliousness that we Sir, want. In which case, let's just try and convince them to do something. Yeah, there we go. At the ready. You can't cross the river anyway unless you come south and attack us. That's fine. You are not many turns away from being done. We've got more support here than we did have. We want Ronald Babington to replenish. Over in the Americas, we've got plenty of stuff on the go. Okay, let's do a bit of a run on... A bit of a check on our industry. Although, I suppose we're waiting on power loom. That's going to be huge when we get it. A lot of our industrial base is textiles and that will suck up a lot of our cash upgrading that i think for the most part we've got our steam engine factories up and running so we shouldn't have a double whammy as far as required investment goes get mr zenga into jerusalem Cool. Okay. And one more turn to get both of them. I'm pretty sure we've. Well, no, we haven't done these actually. Get a sloop as guard ship. Yeah, yes, you can be committed now. Uh, minus three. We'll keep them nearby. I won't move. I won't move them too far away. And okay, right. So we've done this. We've done you. We've done those in New Andalusia, Panama. Let's get upgrading. Iceland needs new ports and new roads, potentially. Nope, not yet. Gunnery school in New Mexico. Can, to be honest, can probably stand to recruit another army here as well. Philip Hamden. 
Okay, let's be really careful though that we don't recruit troops from elsewhere. Like that, 24 pounders. So no 24 pounders. 12 pounders only. And then let's get a unit of... Oh no, no continental marines. It's going to be... Mostly regular infantry, isn't it? Well, first of all, let's recruit light infantry to get them done. Although actually, I can pro it's probably easier if I keep my dragoons out of the city for now. Well, keep them in, keep them in there for now. And as the army recruits, we can push them out. Okay, that's good. Um, you're all ongoing. Cool. Let's. Remember to get these guys out. Ready and waiting. On our way, Captain. Set sail. Come on, I've specifically selected Set one of you. Sail. There we go. Jump to it and look lively. Argo get a another fourth rate and some frigates. Potomac get a fourth rate and heavy privateer. Your heavy fleet are still recruiting. Okay, let's hit M10. Okay. Spain's getting ready to do stuff. It's all about what is Austria going to do? Got a real concentration of forces around Cologne. We're not going to intercept because that does not get our reinforcing army. <laughs> they just run straight through. Fair enough, I guess. I guess this will be the same. <laughs> Enemy fleet, ahead. fleet? That's fine. Two sloops. Ah, oh, we didn't get any of them. But they sank both of our sloops. Disaster. Okay, we need to attack that fleet. We need to attack that fleet. And I think they are. Well, they're recruiting out of Brest. So I think we can stand to deal with that. Yeah, this is why we need, we need more fleets to, to to reaffirm our dominance of the of all of the seas of the world. And you are more than welcome to blockade us as much as you like. These raiders are going to be a bit of a Continuous thorn in our side, but it's not the end of the world. Um, right, Ottoman end turn phase. I'll see you guys in a second. And we're back off to the races. It appears as though it's the uh, the, um, the Ottoman and the Russian end turn phases. They're up to some shenanigans. Trade re raided. Okay, don't worry about that. Don't worry about so much about the raids. Obviously, you have to attack this guy. These guys. Sir. But before we do any of that, let's make sure lots of our other stuff is done. Those would be worth taking, actually. Okay, so Portsmouth. Recruit another batch of sloops to continue the blockade. Excellent. You're here to take up position on this trade zone. Add some of that sweet, sweet sugar. Have another army ready for the Marathas. Ultimately, let's sail into Qatar. See what happens here. It's clear. Demand the surrender of the city because they have no additional troops 
repair the government building, get the get the uh, barracks repaired. Now our agents make merry with whatever's going on. Okay, so line infantry units. Let's combine. Combine units and then swap out the weakest line infantry, which is probably you guys. Place them with two units of company infantry. Immediately. Recruit a general to cover. Cloudsley, Cloudsley Cockburn. Although they are in the end, make it look his name's Cloudsley, Cloudsley Cockburn. Oh dear, I I am an adult. I swear. Um, ooh, they come with lots of rockets and cavalry. That's really cool. Okay, commercial port. Okay, the army building upgraded. So we need to be real careful here, because now we're at a point where we could quite easily, um, could quite easily uh, spend all of our money. Because we've now got power loom. On. Okay, let's get a, we need to get a bunch of them upgraded. Probably going to spend down to about 50 grand. Because these make a crazy amount of money. Cool, okay. 50,000. Oh, yeah. Frigates for Fabian Allen. You can recruit a few more heavy privateers. Okay. Ready and awaiting orders. Ready for orders. Make ready. March, sir. Forward. Artillery coming in. Yes. Yes, sir. Men, make forward. Forward. Republican Forward. Guard, you need two more units. I don't think they have been recruited anywhere. So you just need regular infantry, I think. Uh, you might get one unit of Marines. There we go. Something like that. So you... Have uh, five spaces, artillery and cavalry unit coming in. Roger. You need another light infantry unit and two infantry. Although it looks like we're going to be fresh out unless we go for colonial light. So three, four, five. Yep, that'll be you. Make ready. By the land. Your humble and you've got one unit of mercenaries coming in. You've got your skirmishers. Yeah, you just need infantry. Seven. Seven units. Five. Six. Seven. Awesome. Meanwhile, in Britain, your humble servant. Sharpshooters, good. Your orders. So all this infantry you've recruited is going down to Ian Brent. You're on your way to Murphy Cecil. You're going to get two more, even though you can't really use them. 
the sharpshooter, the light infantry, expat line, fusilier. Okay, let's. Use the navy to get you guys up here. Yep, here come extra reinforcements. An awful lot of cavalry. So these, this is the army we want to defend. We want to be involved in attacking Zagreb. Let's get this ship back. Just need mass. You're probably going to build up a little bit more of a, a force to kind of reinforce this area. So you're ready. Let's see if you stop us. If you don't stop us. Interesting. Right, let's take Ernest Southerns. His force is going to attack Utrecht. They're not going to bring in their reinforcements. That's fine. Maximus Biscop. Or Bischoff. I'm calling him Mr. Biscop. Mr. Deliciously Sweet Biscuit. Right. We'll attack him, push him away, use the other force to push the other guy away, and then use the other army to maybe put Cologne under siege and push these two armies up behind them as reinforcements while they are replenishing. I think that's going to be that's going to be the objective. Good old bit of rain. Okay, Grand Battery. Centre of our line up on the hill. Howitzer's position to the side. Our infantry line form up. Our skirmishers could actually position. Yeah, this might still not be good of enough. Good enough of an angle. Position all my skirmishers on the right flank. It's a bit more open. Give them the bulk of the cavalry in support. Field Marshal of America watching proudly from the high ground. Yes, Provincial Cavalry want that quick line. Cough. Oh, misfires. That one didn't misfire. Delicious. Okay, looks like they are mostly abandoning the right flank but let's let them come to that conclusion first horse artillery okay now my howitzer is going to focus on attacking the horse artillery because we can't really get them from our position get our artillery to focus on their cavalry Destroyed one gun. Yeah, my howitzers. Drop quick climb short. I mean, they might not be able to do anything to us because they can't necessarily lob their shells up high enough to get to us. Where are we going to use our howitzers, baby? Bring our infantry line back into the woods. Bring on coward Curassier back into the woods. Eight artillery crew, we've killed a load of their cavalry. There we go. Switch my howitzers to round shot and just start sniping at the Swiss line.
may actually pull back three units. And these units advance up. They are willing to surrender ground to us. You men run because they're engaging us. be able to here we go lines are clashing quick line okay, there might even be a call to do this um, the lay of the land wants us to do this run into position and let's my howitzers can support the left because the, they can angle themselves a bit better my foot artillery support the right bring the cavalry up ready to smash the 39th they're going to be out of shrapnel range no, they're not. My cavalry, mass cavalry charge, hit the 39th before they have a chance to form up. Skirmishes form up on the flanks, tight. detonating a bit high <laughs> quick I'm hammering this enemy concentration on the hill light infantry open up long riflemen engage Bring my grenadiers, bring my cavalry in. The grassy air in to smash the third light foot and the grenadiers. Hold my left flank in to maximize the dominance we have there. Riflemen uh, waiting on somebody who's stuck. The enemy general's bodyguards committed into the action. Bring my Hessian line in. A first regiment, make ready and fire. Lamb van militia coming in. Send the regiment of horse in to go attack some of these routing units to try and make sure they do break. Or make sure they shatter, I should say. Artillery fire, retarget. Kill the enemy general. This infantry get into position. Grassier get up on top of the hill. He shattered. Keep killing them until they shatter. To be honest, actually, maybe I'll just chase them down and kill them.
Let's bring Ernest Southern down into bear. Howard says switch cease fire. Foot artillery cease fire. Yeah. The enemy are defeated. I mean apart from their artillery, obviously. Kill the rest of them. Actually, you better go for the Swiss Guards rather than rather than the enemy militia. My general can go after the militia though. I oh, know you don't. I'm not gonna fall for that one again. I think the mercenaries are going to escape though. But we'll try. Chasing down Swiss line infantry here. Excellent. You help the general kill the militia. left over here but he's going to successfully escape so it's all down to my general hunting down the militia let's bring more cavalry to bear max out that pathfinding this guy plus another guy somewhere oh it's just this guy his little legs aren't going to carry him fast enough Got him. Nice. Good victory. That's one good ratio. Ten to one. Lots of units have bumped up their experience level. Excellent. Forward. March. Although I should, in theory... You can max, try and maximize your, you know, there we go. Min, you know, this is minimizing the amount of uh, experience, minimizing the experience loss. Well, there's a Hessian line infantry units. So it means that the others will lose experience faster because they are having more junior men into the added into the ranks. Ready for, make ready. Okay, bring Noel Compton along. Hey, buddy. Forward. Attack. This is their own. Ooh, General Field Marshal of the Army. Karsten Zobo. And he has a more comprehensive uh, force. Pretty good force, actually, but not good enough. Let's go get him. And Noel Compton, his force is, for the most part, unbloodied. Except for uh, some of our Marines that are very experienced. Let's push them in, destroy them, and then keep on doing that. But yeah, we're at a moment where we've made our and we've we've created so many footholds. We need to uh, <laughs> we need to make sure we fight to protect them for a certain period of time. Okay, this time though, we are going on the advance. We're going, to, we're going to attack. So my artillery is going to cease. Is not going to be firing at will off the bat. Okay, let's select my line infantry. Two elite units plus a skirmish unit on each flank. Although the, the left flank is going to have multiple skirmisher elements. 
cavalry to back them up. General in the centre. Okay, now they're in, now they're out of position. Fire at will. Cavalry open fire however they like. Except for the howitzers, you're gonna drop quick line on some of these units because they're pretty good. Cavalry are barreling in. Light dragoons. Artillery blast them with shrapnel shot. It looks like they do they are willing to feed the right flank to us. So let's take it. They got a lot of troops hidden somewhere, it feels like. There's some of them. So the left flank is secure. My cuirassier can deal with the fusiliers. Cuirassier, here we go, the range of volley broke the cuirassier. Shred their troops in the center. us with shrapnel shot but we also have shrapnel shot okay, you're not actually opening fire okay let's advance into the woods this is where it can get a bit messy Cuirassier still in the fight Charge the 15th with ours. Dragoons engage the Jaeger. Okay. My Marines are out of range, so push up. Chop up the Jaeger. Light infantry pushing through the gaps. Battle under the trees, Curacia guards. New men withdraw to the safety of the square of the Grenadiers. Cavalry go after a militia unit. Retarget the guns. Quick climb the gap in the center. The colonial light infantry get into a position to engage. Excellent. The legion fall back to this gap behind the square. General field marshal of the army. All batteries fire. Engage that general. See if they take can route the marines. Just shaken. Right, we're gonna push up into your face. We'll rely on artillery fire doing it as we advance. There they go. My light foot picking off their gunners. General Field Marshal of the Army's in the centre. Oh, the Light Dragoons try to bayonet charge us. General Field Marshal is 
at a real risk of getting encircled. Right, we need to minimize risk of friendly fire. We're going to be round shotting into the trees. A legion might cease fire because you you might be doing more damage than good. Bring my cuirassier back through the square. General Field Marshal of the Army is broken without being killed. He's found a gap through our lines to withdraw. Curiosity Air Guard. So my infantry broke. I got some foot guards in. Bring the Curiosity Air around into the foot guards. Republican Guard. Get in there too. There we go. The enemy force is broken. Let's get in there. Make sure our artillery is ceased firing. our infantry make sure you guys all cease fire you're going after the 24 pounder crew wherever they ended up going that's our infantry running away there no you're chasing after the artillery after the um Cavalry I engage, asked you to engage, but you're going to kill the gunners. Nice. A bit more slaughter there than the originally planned, but still. Good outcome. So now you can replenish Noel Compton. Let's build Amsterdam coaching in. Now you, Ronald Babington, you can engage the Austrians. Well, to be honest, this army is just made up of all the depleted troops from before. Let's just do that. Although it's uh, the ratio is not quite ideal. Mr. Babington, replenish. So you're in position. You're able to attack Cologne, but no one's able to support you in the correct manner. So let's start moving up. You're still going to hold the bridge, Mr. Sloper, who is our expert general. Do you wonder if... Oh, it's only manufacturer. Okay, right, let's get rid of some of these raids. Ernest Southern's aggressive attacker. Noel Compton, corporate and gold braid. Darling of the gutter press. Brave soldier. Trait. And... Uh, Something I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting there. So the Ernest Southerns of the Field Marshal is in overall yes, command here. Noel Compton and Mr. Barrington. The troops are ready. Ah, uh, yes, and Sweden. Forget all. Forgot about Sweden. Let's upgrade you to a coaching in. We've got one. Two will be okay. Okay, let's upgrade some more industry stuff. So you're waiting on one unit of infantry, which we can pinch next turn. And then you're ready to attack. We're ready to get involved. Um, let's take our navy out. We will attack Deepak Ginjapali. 
we will want to attack and capture their ships to bring them into our fleets. Um, if we can build a fleet, well, if we can capture Maratha ships to aid our blockade, that would be super. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.